One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. The link is in the description. All right, enjoy the video, guys. The thesis behind Death Candle is, you know, Death Candle is basically, uh, you know, a big red candle, which is uh, showing you kind of trend has, you know, changed, right? Or it's, uh, you know, it's it's more like, you know, a stuff candle, uh, or, you know, uh, to me. And uh, most uh, most of the time, you know, you have a sea of a huge, you know, red volume here. Uh, that's, uh, you know, basically, uh, you know, people selling. It's like uh, the stocks try to push and then, you know, huge stuff after that, right? So what I usually do is um, I always look at how big is the candle or, you know, the kind of the, the extent of it. And also I, I usually use them like three minutes or like two minutes give me the good idea you know about about the, the 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 candle basically right i mean if you choose one minute uh there's a lot of missing information there you know stock could easily uh you know it's showing you like there's a dip and then you know just like all those weeks uh so i i just want to kind of avoid that and uh i want to see it in like at least like on a two minute kind of chart uh to see you know basically the big picture right or you can use uh you know two or three minutes that's really up to you how can you trade them or what is that you know uh the information that stock is giving you on that particular death candle uh to me when every time you know uh stock try to push and then it's a huge slam candle like this i mean like on this one it's like uh you know nine to all the way 15 right and, and then you know 14 and then slammed right here from 14 40 all the way to like 12 so it's like almost two point there uh you know and uh to me that's that's pretty you know uh stuff to me and uh since um uh, it's like this uh, also you know a time of day i i really don't want to be anticipating uh in the pre-market uh, because you know a lot of times uh you have only little volumes here and the stocks is like uh you know tanking like this and uh so th this is not an accurate way how to like kind of measure it uh so i would prefer uh you know after the open so um and for me the best time of the day to trade those uh the death candle is you know uh, which is uh the first hour of the day or like the reversal zombie times so it's around like 2 p.m 3 or 3 p.m something like that so how can you spot a death candle right i mean when you see a death candle usually you don't have to guess i mean look look at this chart tell me which candle is the biggest one like on the uh you know uh, uh on on this chart particularly you know, you see all those red here, small, 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 and this one is the biggest, right? I mean, you don't even have to guess which one is the death candle. And based on the volume, I mean, it's this one is pretty obvious, right? So how do I, you know, take advantage of that? So usually what I usually do is uh, I think I uh, we discussed this uh, in the Austin's webinar. And one of the way that I, I would like to approach is I always use this like 50 percent on on the kind of pullback or like the, the, the you know, uh, the pops. This is like healthy to me. If stocks uh, gave you the confirmation that the trend is, you know, temporary broken the trend has changed. Right. I mean usually people here they're gonna end up like covering here that's why it causes uh you know stock to kind of pop halfway so that's uh you know what i uh what i usually like is uh, the spot uh, for for the stock to kind of test back the 50 percent ret retracement and i would short into the pops and in this particular case uh you know it's just perfect you see that big you know slam candle here halfway it just happens to be exact at view app right this is like uh, the perfect kind of scenario uh that uh, stock uh, you know did uh, the the death candle right through view app and then pop back 50 percent retracement to the view app and that's where the view app is 
I mean, this is like the more data you have, the better the odds, uh, you know, will be in your favor. So whenever you see something like this and like, you know, on a, on an instant move, the stock pop back only 50%. That's how I like it. You know, it has to pop back to this line and then drop right away. If it's, you know, uh, pops way too much over this line, it's like when you see big slam and then reclaim all the way up here. That's, you know, that's something I, I would definitely want to avoid. Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. If you really want to trade that, uh, you have to kind of, you know, be patient and waiting for that candle to kind of appear. And also the time of the day is really crucial. Uh, that's why I said usually in the first hour or like, you know, at the afternoon, I would always uh, kind of uh, avoid the midday kind of grinding unless uh, the stock is really extended and also uh, it's it's really crowded, right? I mean, we've seen a lot of names uh, lately, and they're moving like two hundred of uh, like three hundred million uh, volume on a single day. And for those, you know, I just let them work. And uh, when I see that, you know, type of candle uh, appears, so that's showing me uh, like it gives me the confirmation that the trend is temporarily broken for now. So I can short back the pops. It's like the top is it uh is, is set for that particular time frame and i want to short into the pops right so this is the thesis behind it you don't want to be guessing the tops uh and you want to wait for that moment right you want to wait for that confirmation basically you know in the pre-market i i really am not a big fan of uh you know doing that in pre-market but this one could be the biggest one yeah, and you know, but you clearly tell when gave you some sort of uh, this uh, type of candle. It's pretty much at the top is pretty much temporary set, uh, but you can you know show back. But uh, in, in the pre market, you have to be real careful uh, uh, with the range, and also uh, you couldn't put a hot stop in, right? So that's why we always suggest to avoid uh, this one. is is pretty pretty big as well seven. Uh, 7 uh, 30 uh, to like 640 almost a point here but uh, I would always uh, stick to the market open and uh, to look for those yeah I mean this one uh, you can clearly tell uh, this this is pretty big uh, you know kind of stuff move like 19 to like uh, you know 16 is like almost three points and you can see here this is probably the biggest uh, you know candle also the volume on it right so this is, you know, pretty much a thing that uh, the trend is uh, broken and also the top is set. Uh, so you see uh, the 50% retracement here, couldn't get back to that point. Uh, so that's why I always uh, look at this for my ideal entry. But, uh, you know, you, you, you could uh, start scaling, uh, you know, from here and then here, maybe 16, 16.5. 16.5, 17, 17.5, right? I mean, it's really up to you, the, your rates torrents uh, a little bit. But uh, as you can see here, the volume is good. The, this is pretty much the biggest red candle. Uh, this is the death candle uh, to me. Uh, you know, uh, time of the day is good. And, you know, the first hour, not in the pre-market. And, you know, that's something I would look for. The point is uh, you just have to be and really patience and wait for those right and um, and I think the most important part here is when you see those uh, just draw a line here you know 50% retracements uh, right here if it pops to this line probably the thesis is no longer valid you have to get up I mean I mean uh, we've been saying this a lot and you know it, it really doesn't matter what you trade right I mean uh, trading is really hard and not well, particular setup is uh, gonna be hundred percent and not like uh, you know there's some holy grail in this death candle and that you know if you see that's like it's gonna work right 
I mean, it just doesn't work that way. I mean, if I knew, uh, you know, this uh, stuff is going to work like, you know, 100%, why not bet everything on that particular setup, right? So uh, I know that over time, out of, I don't know, like 100 trades, 1,000 uh, trades, uh, the odds are in my favor, right? The probabilities is there, you know. Uh, it's like I would probably could say that, you know, out of 10 times, if I make this trade, uh, likely I'm gonna you know be right six or seven times right you know out of you know two or three times those are the outliers uh, that you know might not work but I'm okay with that so that's why the risk management part is everything uh, it's really important for you to kind of uh, stick to that uh, don't have too much conviction on any particular setup even is the death line uh, death candle here low-hanging fruit uh, I mean, the probabilities is there for you, uh, you know, um, or like uh, MIC process has been uh, training the broken stocks, right? Uh, uh, wait for them to kind of tang uh, in here. I mean, you know, this particular one is not really uh, the type of niche that we're looking for every day, uh, you know, because it's pretty much strong in the pre-market and it just uh, happens to have this death kind of right at the bat and right at the open, right? So, but usually we would like to see something like this, like Ecore, you know, uh, is dying in, in the pre-market, uh, you know, probably in after hours yesterday, the day before, and then uh, it's just like uh, the stock is broken, right? Broken down and we want to short back the bounce. Uh, you know, this one line here, this one line here, this one line here, this one line here. Basically, the I, the thesis behind it, let the, the, the top to kind of form first and then we short back the bounce after that. Uh, and you know basically the back side of the move uh, it's much safer that way to kind of trade instead of uh, you know you trying to guess the top and uh, you couldn't be patient with that and uh, try to you know not anticipate and wait for the confirmation uh, you know uh, you can short back those right and once it kind of confirm your thesis is right you can add on the way down I mean risking over this line uh, so Try to work more on adding more to winner, and uh, and uh, I think that's that's the safest way or the best way how to grow your account or like to pull up uh, you know the big P and L kind of uh, 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 setup, right? Uh, but uh, you know, uh, don't focus too much on the money. Focus on the process. Um, yeah, so this is just a you know quick video regarding the death candle. Yeah, guys, so I hope this video helps uh, regarding this questions. And if you guys uh, still have any questions regarding the death candle here and uh, how about how to trade them, you know, hit me up, uh, you know, DM anytime, and uh, I will happy to kind of answer all those questions for you guys. All right, guys, uh, have a good one today, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.